Hello, my name is Kainson Munoye, the application developer, and in this video I'm going to take you through how to edit records in Dreamweaver uh, using PHP MySQL. So please like my video if you find it to be informative for you. It's going to be a very short video because uh, uh, I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I don't think it's going to be uh, a very difficult task to, to to perform. So let's go to Dreamweaver. Already I've set up some pages. I've also set up uh, the table of users. So this demo is just about uh, editing the record and then saving it back to the to the database. So the first thing we got, we are going to do is to is to create a page that displays a list of records. And second, we create a page that uh, that uh, uh, we confirm or we make the updates and then save. So the first page is list of records, and the second page is a, a, a page that displays the details of this record, allowing us to make our changes and then save it back to the database. So the first thing we do is to create. Um, this page that displays a list of records. So I want to call it such, such, that is what I'll call this page. So I'll just go to say new, create, and I'll save as a such, such. Okay, so this, this uh, such, Allow the user to, to enter parts of the. Okay, let's, let's just say this, this page uh, displays the list of all the records in the database. Uh, in a different demo, I can explain how to search for a record and then display the records that matches the search criteria. So for now, we just say this is a list of users okay so how list of users uh list of users okay let me make this bold and then we i want to place a table of the users right here in this page so to do that i'll just go to okay we'll go to insert dynamic data dynamic table and to do that we have this iphone here dynamic Table, okay. Of course, it will tell us to create a record site, and I'll quickly create a record site. I call it rec users using this uh, this connection, and we are using a TBL users table, and I'm displaying everything. And say if I taste for sure, it's going to fetch the data, and I say okay. And that is just fine. Dynamic table acts for the record site, and now we have a record site, and we just display it there. Okay. So now we want a situation whereby the user selects a particular record and then edits. So to do that, I'll add another column here, uh, or yeah another column to this table and has a link that says edit this record or maybe a link that just says edit so I place my cursor in the last column and then I right click and say table insert rows or column and I insert one column after the current column and I will just say edit, edit. Okay, let's just call it edit. So, I will now create another page I call edit record that, that display the details of this record that allows for editing. So, let's create a new page and call it edit record. Save us, edit records and that's just fine and so this edit record so for the search page this edit is a link 
that linked to the edit record uh, page and allows for editing so now it links to this page but it also has to pass across the 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 id of the record to be edited and how does it pass it across to this page to pass it by a url parameter in the url query string that goes along with this link when it is clicked so how do we provide this url parameter so we do it by grabbing the id of this uh, the current row or the click the row that was clicked the id of the row that is clicked and then send it across to the next page so to do that i select this link i will write, like to write the code there in the in the in the I like to write the code in the in the code view. So I'll say question mark Q uh, U user ID equals. This is where we do a little coding. So this item here represents represents. This item here represents the user ID at the time. So user ID is equal to all of these. Is equal to all of these. So now when this link is clicked, it passes this query string, uh, the URL parameter name uh, user ID across to the next page so let's get back to the design view okay so the next thing we want to do is to test to see that everything is working uh, maybe i'll just add um, okay let's continue Let's continue. Let's continue. Sorry, I would like to add a link to the search page in the navigation bar. So, how do I do that? It's not part of this tutorial, but I just have to do it. Okay, so um, I just want to add it there. So let's get back to the list of users. So we have this. So now we want to go to the edit record page and then I want to give the caption edit and save. That is the, the caption there so i just want to make this bold okay this is fine so the next thing i'm going to do is to so insert uh, sorry i need to insert this this it says update record form wizard so let's use this update record form wizard to be able to update first we create a record site now pay attention to this record site i'm going to create let's call it rec updates same uh, connection the users tbl users and now we want to edit but now we are selecting only the record for this particular user user id that was passed uh, through the url uh, query string in a URL parameter so the, the filter ID 
UR is equal to URL parameter user ID. Okay. Perfect. So that is what we have. That is what we have. Okay, so 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 after updating after updating we we go back to the list which is the the search.php and that is just fine and so we say okay please choose a unique key from the selected record sets so the unique key okay now the table is tbl users and the unique key is the user id okay okay so, okay, so there we go. So now we want to test this application and see if it works. So let's upload everything. Okay, so let's, let's go to the home page and then I run. I preview in a browser, I go to the list of users and I have this list of users. Kainton, uh, that is my own name. I want to edit. Okay, okay. I want to change my access level to admin. Okay, update. And there, the half, admin. Okay, maybe I'll just change something that is very, very significant. In my name, uh, I want to change my my first name from kind son to something else. So from kind son, I change it to to Kali K and Y. Okay, update. Oops, and there we go. Updated perfectly. So this is how to update records. Uh, MySQL database using PHP and Promover. I hope this video has been very informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing. Please don't forget to like my video and please also subscribe to my channel and watch out for my next video. Thank you very much.